this video we will learn how to implement model pop-up for our application so basically what I want to do is I want to have a button here called add department and on click of the tip uh, on click of that button I want to open a model pop-up inside that where I can uh, fill the details of the department name and create new department which will in turn get inserted into our departments table so you can add this model pop-up as a separate component in our project and we can call that component on click of a button so let's start adding the component here let's create a new file with the name add department model dot js so let's start writing the HTML content of this model pop-up. So I'll write import react comma component from react. and then import will import the model component the button uh, we need we may need a row column so that we can have uh, the form fields so I'm having the row column as well as form so that we can um, give a text box or something so that we can fill the details of the department so to insert that department name into our table from react bootstrap and then export class add department model extends the component let's have a constructor props super props and then let's render the HTML we'll have a render method to render HTML let's write the HTML content here something like this <clears throat> so before that we're gonna copy a default you know, starter code which which can be found in this website react bootstrap this user guide so you can go to this website go to this URL to get the details of all the components and how to use them so I'll be selecting model <coughs> so we have different kind of examples here so I'll be choosing this one launch vertically centered model okay so I'll copy this HTML entire content as it is and uh, let me just paste it in our application in our uh, the model dot JS page <coughs> so we're gonna do some slight changes in here so the first thing is we'll de de remove the body and we'll also have to change the maybe the title so here instead of model heading I will write uh, okay. okay so instead of model heading I'll write add depart okay and 
There's some issue here. Okay, from. Sorry, from React Bootstrap. So here I'll write add department, <coughs> and in the body we have to implement um, the the form fields, right? So for now I will simply add a div tag with the class name equal to container <clears throat> so inside that let me simply write uh, we need to add form fields for department okay to fill the department details we need to add the form fields in here and uh, let's change the variant of this button let's make it red color okay so now what we have to do we have to create a button here and on click of that button we have to show this add department model so let me go to department.js and implement and uh, create one button here so to be able to do that let's import <coughs> button and button toolbar from react bootstrap what else do we need on click of the button we need to show the add department model right so we have to import that component add department model component <coughs> department model from dot slash add department model okay now let us have a button and on click of it we have to show the department model so but before that we're going to create some state variables so that we can show the model and close the model so we can control the visibility of the department model so I'll write add model show so basically this will indicate whether we want to show the model pop up or not here i am taking giving the name as add model show which means do we want to show for currently when it loads it will be false which means we don't want to show on the page load of department so i'll write add model show which is false currently and uh, let's implement the and also one uh, method here let when you want when you want to close it also you have to make it as false right by default it will be false and also if you, when you click on that close button you want to sh you want to make it as false visible as false so i'll write a function add model close equal to this dot set state we're gonna set add model close add model show to false so on page load it will be false and also on click of close button it will be false now let's add the <coughs> button so we'll have button toolbar inside button toolbar let's have a button button so button will have some properties here so let's define those so variant variant will be primary which is blue in color and then on click so 
on click of that button we want to show the uh, pop-up right model pop-up on click equal to the arrow function and I'll set this dot set state what should I set I should sh I should uh, set the state of the model show here it should be true so only on click of the button you have to make it as true so that we can show the <coughs> pop-up and what is the name name of the button we will keep it as add department this is the name of our button okay so now we're gonna put our component add department model component sorry So this component we're gonna show this will be a self closing and we're gonna define the properties so show show equal to this dot state dot the add model show so it will be shown based on the value which is set in the add model show so if it is equal to true then department model will be shown if it is false then it will not be shown and on hide equal to add model close so on hide we're gonna make it as false so that it will not be shown so where are we calling this on hide if you go into the department model uh, here on click this dot props dot on hide okay on click of the close button so i guess that's it let's check how it is working Okay, let's have uh, fine. It has to be in a single div tag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the entire thing in a div tag. So I'll cut this and I'll put it here. Sorry, this should be okay. Let's check now. Button toolbar is not exported from React Bootstrap. Button toolbar, okay. Let's check what's the issue. button toolbar from react bootstrap so it seems to be fine okay How about this import button toolbar from react bootstrap slash button Okay. 
let me check the sorry we have a mistake it should be a small b now let's check yes so on click of the button we are able to show the pop-up and on click of the close we are able to close it so in the next video we will learn how to implement the form um, fields for department so especially we just need department name text box we'll enter the user will enter the department name and on click of uh, save it has to go to the database so we have to <clears throat> consume the web API method and uh, call the post method with a department name